All right, babies, it's that time again. Oh yeah. Not too cold this morning. Looks like it'll probably get up to about 45 or 50. So that's nice. And we are in Isaiah 8. And we are going to ignore it. <laughs> because it's full of military language. And I just am done with it. I am just done with the military language. Sorry. It's just a bunch of stories trying to make Israel feel good about their past, etc., and promote themselves against enemies, showing themselves to be militarily fearsome, protected by a fearsome God. So we're ignoring that. Uh, and what's interesting is, I told you I was going to be um, using the gospel, the Aquarian gospel of Jesus the Christ on days when I can't find anything inspiring in the Bible. And sure enough, wouldn't you know, in chapter 80, there is a reference to Jesus being described to someone who's inquiring about his popularity. And the explanation is given that juxtaposing Jesus's message of love and freedom and the kingdom being comprised of those types of characteristics as opposed to what the lower forms of men value, such as the sword and military power. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what it said. I was just like, oh my gosh. This is very interesting. This is happening today. So there it was. And that's all there is to it, sweethearts. The Eagles are on the way to the Super Bowl. Yeah, baby. No big surprise there. So, what shall we say then? We shall say that I am just so thankful that when I get up in the morning and I just start thanking Jesus and wanting to be a pleasure to Jesus, and wanting to love him more and wanting to do whatever it is that brings him pleasure is just so immediately engaging to me I he, he meets me right there it's it's almost as if it's like a kiss and a hug from the eternal bridegroom to his bride. I mean, that's the way it feels. So I am exceptionally thankful for that because I, I just rest in that because that's the foundation and then everything else just gets built from there. Yeah, baby, loving that. Just loving it. Also looking forward to the spring. Oh yeah, baby. Yes, we might be a couple snowstorms away from spring, but 
it's still what like seven weeks away yeah baby that's a lot better <laughs> when it first hit right when it first hit in like November you're thinking oh my gosh But given life's tragedies, cold is very low on the totem pole, so I'm good, baby, I'm good. Again, really striking to me with my constant searching of YouTube for spiritual teaching support those kinds of things there's so little that just seems to be like what I do here like just you know be yourself how are things going how are you learning what's helping you maybe a discussion with somebody else over that And just seeing that that itself can be powerful instead of all this preaching and uh, what do they call it? Uh, is it primping? You know, when you're sort of showing off, which is what I really feel like a lot of. Um, Preachers do is they just use their platforms as a way of showing off and it's just that's so not the spirit of God it's just so disturbing I can't watch it uh, and I'm kind of getting tired now of like the biblical searches and the historical things and what's historical, you know, what has more probable authenticity than other things. I'm starting to get a little weary of that because having the experience of Jesus, <laughs> I feel like we should just start there, you know? It's just like, and that's why I'm saying it. I wish I could have this connection with others um, hmm. so yeah there it is baby there it is going to continue to cultivate this Thanksgiving all day long at work. I'm going to try to do a good job. I'm going to try and be available for others. I'm going to try to keep my positive faith activated. I'm going to do that by submitting myself continually to God's Spirit. So anytime I see, you know, red flags kind of coming into view, like maybe a negative attitude or a complaint or anything along those lines, I'm going to shun it as quickly as I recognize it and try to stay true to the one who fills us with all goodness, love, hope, peace, motivation, creativity, power, anointing. Yeah, baby. Have yourself a beautiful day. Do something historical.